asynchronous columns. If you remember the regular columns that we did before, okay, we're going to do that same pattern, but we're going to do it with alternating asynchronous throws. And when it's done like that, they kind of float up and down and remind me of a snake. Sometimes I call it the snake pattern, and I have heard other people say that. So you're still doing your side-by-side, two-in-one-hand column throws. But oddly enough, when those stack up, they almost naturally fall into whoop, <laughs> fall into the snake pattern. If you can see it, how it looks like an undulating snake. It's kind of a tough pattern because your hands are virtually independent of each other and it's a lot of periphery. And the key to keep the pattern going is to get uniform heights on all of your throws. If the, if the throws remain uniform, it can't help but look good. That is the snake pattern.